one more we can hear that there are so many people worldwide that are being called either armbands or underbands. And also uh, fintech services are suggested to be the solution for their kind of situation. So who are they? Well, uh, unbanks are those people who do not have any kind of access to financial services or uh, banking services uh, of any kind of organizations, while underbanks are those who do not have sufficient access uh, to mainstream financial services and uh, products that uh, are typically offered by retail banks and therefore who are often deprived of uh, banking services such as credit cards or loans, etc. So uh, by providing access and by enabling active use of affordable financial services, uh, some kind of financial inclusion uh, can generate significant benefits for the unbanked and underbanked. So uh, it's the digital financial services through smartphone technology that has become one of the primary, primary ways to uh, accelerate financial inclusion uh, in emerging and developing economies. and. Uh, while uh, digital payments provide significant benefits for the unbanked and underbanked, uh, there are still certain risks and challenges that need to be considered, such as uh, potential fraud by uh, mobile money agents due to the lack of knowledge or the lack of awareness of those individuals who are using those products. Uh, also, it's the digital payments that, that, that can create data security risks with the customers who are providing personal information that might be lost or stolen. Um, another consequence of a lack of co uh, knowledge is the low active usage of digital payment products among the poor or among those who live in rural areas, for example. So it's the digital lending or the ability to offer loans automatically or al almost instantly through digital channels uh, as an important enabler uh, of that what we call financial inclusion. So there's a, vari a variety of uh, business models that are emerging in this area, such as P2P lending where platforms that are connecting borrowers and in investors. So digital lending can provide significant benefits to unbanked and underbanked customers and uh, small business also in emerging and developing economies. So the most immediate benefit is uh, improved access to loans that were previously not available or that were too expensive for those users. So by accessing loans uh, through digital lending companies, or the poor or the marginalized can effectively build a credit his history that will uh, in future enable them to use or to services or to borrow from traditional banks. And also smartphones can offer direct access to savings, whether through storing cash on mobile money or for some uh, for linking the mobile activities in, in this area. So the main benefits of digital tools over traditional and informal methods are higher transparency, lower cost and increased liquidity. So there's also micro insurance that refers to small accounts of insurance coverage through very small premiums that provide an opportunity for unbanked and underbanked to access affordable insurance against uh, unexpected emergencies and shocks. So uh, smartphones and mobile payments are essential to the growth of uh, microinsurance in emerging and uh, developing economies as they are uh, important distribution channel and uh, since they deliver some kind of significant benefits over traditional insurance products such as lower costs and uh, easiness of usage and so on. So the fintech firm collects premiums and uh, communicates with clients and the uh, insurance staff and uh, captures all the client data. So that's how FinTech can help not only those who are marginalized, but also who live in the areas where, uh, where the economy itself is not uh, enabling them uh, what uh, the rest of the world can uh, regularly use. To find out more, follow FinTech Online Center.